In this video, I'm going to introduce Asina's OpenRTK 330 GNSS INS solution, describe how to set it up, and how to begin gathering position and attitude information. The OpenRTK 330 is a high-performance, surface-mount, multi-band RTK GNSS receiver, coupled with triple-redundant inertial sensor arrays to provide centimeter-level position accuracy, enhanced reliability, and superior performance during GNSS outages. It is supported by Asina's open source toolchain, which enables direct customization of the onboard algorithms, IO, and communication stack of the device. The OpenRTK 330 is designed for use in level three ADAS and other high volume applications require precise position information. There are two main websites we will be referencing in this video. The online music manual at openrtk.readthedocs.io and Navigation Studio at developers.asena.com, where you can evaluate the part in real time. These links will be added to the YouTube video description. The evaluation kit includes an evaluation board, a wideband active GNSS antenna, an ST-Link programmer and debugger, an optional power supply, and a USB cable that can also be used to supply power to the evaluation board, but its main purpose is to log data to the PC. The evaluation board itself includes the OpenRTK module, an SMA connector for antenna connection, a JTAG connector for, antenna, for programming and debugging, a USB socket for connecting to a PC, an optional supply plug for supplying power to the part externally, uh, a DB9 connector for connecting to a CAN network, an Ethernet connector for providing RTK correction data to the OpenRTK, and there's also a Bluetooth module as an alternative way to provide RTK correction data. There are also additional IO pins on the left-hand side of the board. There are also three status LEDs. A flashing yellow LED signifies that the GNSS chipset is powered on with a valid one PPS signal. A flashing green LED indicates that the OpenRTK INS app is running correctly and receiving valid GNSS signals from the antenna. A flashing red LED indicates that the OpenRTK is receiving valid correction data from a base station. To start evaluating the OpenRTK system, connect the GNSS antenna to the SMA port of the evaluation board and the USB cable from the board to a PC. Next, using the Chrome browser, open Asina Navigation Studio at developers.asina.com. Under Devices, click Connect, and then download the PC server application. Unzip and then run the executable. The device, serial number and firmware version are all displayed. To update the OpenRTK to the latest application version, in Navigation Studio, click Code, Apps, and then go to the latest application version and click Upgrade. If you click RTK Services and then Open Arc, you are directed to the homepage of Asina's precise positioning platform. Here you can set up an account and obtain user RTK credentials. You are not restricted to using OpenARC with the OpenRTK, however. You can also connect to alternative NTRIP RTK correction services. We will discuss logging of user data later in the video, 
but you can also upload and view the data gathered offline. In Navigation Studio, under Devices, click Open RTK and then Upload. There are three ways to provide the RTK corrections to the Open RTK Evaluation Board. The first is to connect the PC and Ethernet port of the Evaluation Board to the same router. The second is to connect the Ethernet port of the Evaluation Board to the logging PC and enable Internet connection sharing. For both of these two options, you can then configure the RTK corrections via a browser. The third option is to connect the evaluation board to an Android device running the Asina OpenRTK app. This will provide correction data via Bluetooth to the OpenRTK. In this video, I'll show the method where the OpenRTK and logging PC share the same internet connection. So connect the ethernet cable from the PC to the OpenRTK. In Control Panel, open Network Connections, or hit the Windows key and type Network Connections. Right-click on the Ethernet connection and select Properties. Under IPv4, click Properties. The default gateway has to be set to 192.168.137.1. The subnet mask has to be 255.255.255.0. The IP address then can be assigned to one not taken in the network. So 192. 168, 137, and in this case, I'm going to enter 55. And then click OK. Right click Wi Fi, and then under Properties, select Sharing and allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection. For this, we'll select the Ethernet network. The next step is the same, whether you have followed the procedure I've just shown you, or you just connected to the open RTK and the logging PC to the same router, via separate Ethernet cables. So in a browser, open HTTP colon double slash OpenRTK. To set the lever arm values, click INS configuration, and then enter the relevant distances in meters. To configure the NTRIP settings, Go to Work Configuration, select Rover, and then either enter your OpenArc or, the, or other NTRIP client settings. Once entered, click Save and then Enable. Returning then to Navigation Studio, to view the position in real time under Devices, select OpenRTK, and under View Live Data, click Play. Click Navigation Information on the left-hand side to show the position and operating mode. You can also view satellite information on the right-hand side of the screen.
You can alternatively use the Android app to provide RTK corrections via cellular internet. This is linked to in the how to use the OpenRTK EVK section of the online documentation. In the app, click connect and then the search icon and select the evaluation kit you want to connect to via Bluetooth. Then go to the Entrip tab and configure the Entrip server with your OpenArc or other Entrip account settings. Then click Save. At this stage, pull the base data to get the GNSS correction data. Then go to the Map tab and click Start Live Data to view real-time positioning information and trajectory information. Running the Python driver logs all UART output from the module to a data folder. Refer to the online Read the Docs documentation for details on how to parse this data into .csv files for post-processing and analysis. To test the CAN interface, connect your CAN analyzer to the DB9 port of the evaluation kit. The default CAN baud rate used is 500k. The default output messages are the acceleration data, the gyro data, latitude and longitude, and attitude. There's also an address claim message. Definitions for the fields of these messages are given in the Read the Docs documentation in the CAN interface data protocol section. This concludes the video on how to get started with the OpenRTK from Asina. For more detail, please refer to the OpenRTK product page at www.asina.com. This will link you to the parts datasheet, navigation studio, and also our online documentation.